Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will talk about Autodoc, how to install our Autodoc, what are the prerequisites, and how to perform uh, structural analysis of molecular docking on Autodoc. First of all, you just go on the Autodoc website, you download the you know, Autodoc uh, version of uh, uh, Windows. Then there are three tools you, you need for that. One is Autodoc, then Autodoc Vina, then you have to go to MGI tools and just download the MGI tools for Windows. Download it depending on your um, Windows, whether it's 64 or 34 bit. And the third thing which you need is Pymol. So these are three things which you need. One is Autodoc Vina from Autodoc website, MGL tools, and Pymol, right? These three things you will be needing for all your analysis of. Uh, Autodoc that is an open source program for molecular docking Let's see uh, what you have to do So now these three things are done. I'm just cancelling or pausing it because I've already done this. I'm just reproducing it for your Understanding so let's say we have all these things installed and now uh, uh, Sorry downloaded now what what you, we need to do is first we need a protein and a ligand of which we want to see the interaction so let's download the protein sequence you know the rcsb.org that is the pdb database from here i'm just uh, writing a protein uh, name for instance here this is 3hf1 uh, i've already downloaded it but let i'm just telling you how to do it just write this protein data bank id and just download the pdb structure so it depends on you whatever sequence you are using structure you are using you just have to download that from pdb next thing now we want to see the interaction of this protein with any specific ligand so uh, you know this uh, this website that is pubchem.ncbi.nlm.nis.gov you here you can go and just search your proteins uh, of uh, ligand of interest i am downloading here uh, which I've already selected uh, that is the endo toxin inhibitor All right so I'm just selecting it and uh, yes now uh, this protein or you can say this inhibitor or ligand I'm just downloading this file from here and this file is downloading now right so this, here it is in SDF format Previously, we downloaded the protein in PDB format. So I will tell you how to manage these two different ex uh, extensions. Uh, let's see. First, first what we have to do is uh, go uh, in the folder. Here you can see that I have all downloaded this STF extension file. That is the uh, ligand. And uh, I am just uh, renaming that name with ligand here and then the i'm just extracting this file of pdb so yeah this is not the, this is the pdb structure of the protein i have downloaded from rcsp so i'm renaming it as a ligand and protein right now first what you have to do is to go on the uh, autodoc tools and you can see that uh, this is just loading all the modules of the autodoc and it will take a bit of seconds and now it's done and uh, yeah yeah now it's open so you can see this is the GUI of autodoc what you have to do is to uh, go on sorry it's open twice I'm just uh, minimizing it just focus on this one here I'm just dra dragging the protein PDB and it will load. You can see it beneath that it's loading the protein structure. So this is the 3D protein structure of the protein. And now I'm just deleting the water molecules because um, this will decrease the affinity of the interaction between the ligands. So these are a few things what you do. And I'm adding all the oh, hydrogens, hydrogens here, right? so yes just click yes and whatever options you think are appropriate here i'm just selecting the hydrogens of polar right 
now it's it's it all these are loaded right now next thing is i'm adding the calls when charge here so it's also you can see in the structure there's the come a difference like now uh, yes now the charges are added right now what we have to do is just select this protein module these are the steps you have to do before saving it uh, uh, from the autodoc tool right now it's initializing the pdb and things are done now i'm just saving it in dot pdb qt format and i'm saving it in, in docking folder here which we will be using for the analysis and I just click ok here and now we are done with the protein.pdb qt file now next thing what we have to do is to change the format of the ligand that is stf right so for that we have to go on the pymol uh, just open the pymol uh, i have uh, how to install and everything uh, related to pymol is already on my channel you can visualize there sorry my mouse is not working fine it's double yeah now here i am opening the ligand file here just go on open and from open just go there to the folder where the file is saved here it is saved in uh, you can say docking file right now i just open it and uh, this sdf format yeah now now this file is open here so i can now export this molecule into pdb format right so yeah ligand file is now saved so i just click the pdb format yes now we have the pdb file of the ligand and as well as the pdb file of the protein so next thing what we have to do is to go here uh, on the autodoc tools and just this drag this ligand here and uh, yeah you can see here that this is the this is the uh, ligand or you can say this is actually the inhibitor which we will be using to find the target site in the protein and from input just follow these steps here now i'm selecting this ligand as well using autodoc software now it's almost done and now let's create a grid so first just uh let's see mm. I've dragged the ligand file here. Now I'm dragging the. No, let's let's show you. Uh, again, that uh, let's go and on the grid and from grid. Uh, no output file. Save this as. Yeah. Now we also need the PS dot PDB Qt file of the ligand. So I have now both files. Now what you need to do is to also include the, now the ligand file is in the autodoc tool and also I have to add the PDB file. Now this is the protein uh, uh, PDB uh, structure. The protein now you can see these two uh, ligand and protein are on the on the, in the same um, uh, the same arrayed uh, uh, autodoc tool and now again. I'm just repeating the process so that you can be uh, clear enough that what I'm doing here now I am just selecting the protein as well and saving that again. Oops, it's already done, but I just repeated it. So I just saving both the files in pdb dot uh, uh, steric dot pdb qt format. You can see here both are in the same. Now I'm creating the grid. So you can see this green color here. That is the grid. And according to the autodoc tools, the grid should be at this site, the center that x has minus 7.509, y axis 
should be minus 27.015 and z axis is 15.635 now i need to this actually is the configuration what we will use for the docking of the ligand with the protein so what we have to do is uh, make an input file config configuration file with these uh, x y z axis configuration i have already made this file i am just showing you how you need to make this file uh, just i'm just copying this file and you you uh, i'll open it so that you can understand here for instance uh, just paste it here these all options will be in that file let's see wait wait yeah i'm just yeah now these files receptor id ligand id and then center x you can see these options here x center value y center value and z center value all these are similar and also uh, this is the input like size x y i've set set uh, 40 from this grid options and energy range is equals to 4 and exhaustiveness is 8 equals to 8 you can uh, this exhaustiveness you can change it to 8 9 10 whatever number of formations you want so just renaming it by protein dot pdb and this should be you know what ligand dot pdb right now these uh, names are already saved in my folder so i'm just uh saving it in the uh in my th this folder which is uh, this configuration folder that is uh let's see in the let's go there sorry Mm, here mm, user three five two one and then in this yeah here I'm just saving it this will overwrite this empty file and then yeah now you can see that in my docking folder I have saved these configurations as uh, as an input for docking of these ligand and protein so now i'm just uh, exiting uh, this tool now what we have to do is to go if we are using windows so we have to go on command prompt where we have to give uh, one command and that command will give us two outputs one will be the log file and one will be the containing all the uh, affinity information as well as the pdb structure yeah so we this is our file so what we have to do here is first set the directory as the directory in which all the files are saved right so if you see here the directory is auto talk directory is this one the scripts in research institute autodoc vena i'm just so that we can run this exe file for the analysis right so here i'm just uh, copying this uh, location in command prompt and yeah and now i'm going back here in my docking folder here this one so these uh, this is the these are the configuration which i will be needing so let's see what we have to do here is i'm just uh, for setting the directory right so yeah okay here mm -hmm. we know dot exe so I'm just running from the directory here right so and then what next thing and now this is the directory from where we have to run autodoc the next thing is the receptor file that is the protein which we are using that protein dot pdb right protein dot pdbq 
NFT, right? This is the file which we have generated using Autodoc. And then the next command is for ligand. So that is uh, ligand space ligand dot pdb qt, right? And the rest of the commands I'm just writing it. You just have to reproduce this using your own protein sequence and the ligand sequence, or you can say the protein or receptor or the uh, protein or inhibitor or whatever you're seeing here. So this is the configuration file which we made using the grid option in Autodoc tools. So I am giving that command as well. And then the log file which we will be needing as an output. And one uh, is this one and the other would be the uh, PDB file, right? So these two outputs will be generated. One is the log.txt and the other is the output file of the PDB structure. So I think uh, that's almost done. Just writing the PDB output file. So these dash dash zero out command and dash dash log com text command will give us two outputs. So the command is almost done. I've just entered it. Now you can see the docking is running and uh, it's using four CPUs, reading output done, setting up the scoring function done, analyzing in the binding sites. Now what is it, it is doing is actually docking that uh, drug or inhibitor we have used uh, and uh, the protein uh, structure we downloaded from RCSP protein. Now it is inter uh, docking these two together. So it will take a bit of time it have to end till 100% so it will take a couple of seconds probably a minute so i think uh, all these things are should be clear to you till now majority of the things are uh, explained to uh, uh, with detail and i don't think that uh, this will be now a complicated thing for you to run the whole process right uh, and if you want to know how to download the uh, PyMol or how to make it running, there are a few complicated or simple things which you need to learn. Uh, if you want to learn those, you just have, you can go on the, my channel and in the bioinformatics tutorial, you can find how to install PyMol. So other things I've just shown you that you have just have to download on them and just run the files, right? So it's taking a bit of time here. Let's see how much time it will take. I think it should be now done. Yeah, now it's almost 90% and uh, almost it's getting till the end. By the end of it, uh, yeah, now it's done. So here you can see the, it's also showed the log output file here, but you can also view it in the log dot text file. And you can see this one, yeah. If you just open it here, you can see that this is the output which is generated, and the mode of the structures, the affinities, the different nine possibilities of affinity between the both of them in kilocalories per mole is mentioned here, and the best possible output of PDB can be viewed here. Let me show you here. Just close the previous one. Let's open it or drag it let's drag it right just drag this file and here now here you can also see the the affinity and the structure relationship between the protein and the ligand i'm not going into the detail of what does that mean or what are the bondings and energy and so on so out of nine you can see these all nine outputs here and uh, i think it's enough for you to know how to download install run and get your uh, results of interest using autodoc vena thank you very much for your time and hope it will help you in the future bye bye